a golf tournament that's about more than golf. Its mission is to help bring more diversity to the game. Just seeing that there's other, other players of my color that I can look at and say, you know, if they can do it, I can do it too. Several golfers from Florida A&M's golf team, they were among the field for this week's tournament. News for Jack's reporter sports, News for Jack sports reporter Jamal St. Cyr was on the course today down in St. Augustine. The Advocates Pro Golf Association Tour hit the grass at the King and Bear Golf Course this week. The APGA has been around for 14 years and the tour has a mission of helping bring more diversity to golf. What it means is um, that we're making progress. You know, we're making progress. Uh, what we want to do is find the most talented players out there to help us grow the game. And some of these guys are, are, are great players and just giving them the opportunity. The PGA Tour has worked alongside the APGA Tour for the last eight years. During that time, APGA Tour professional Joseph Dent says he's seen the game grow a lot. It's, it's changed a little bit. Um, more, more better players of color are trying to play the game and, and actually be exposed on higher levels of golf. Um, Ten years ago, there were some really good players, but I feel like there's a lot more coming. While making it to the PGA Tour remains the primary goal, the APGA also prepares its players for a potential future working in the golf business in other ways. To think about golf um, careers beyond just the PGA Tour. Uh, a lot of people think of a golf career as that that's that's the um, you know that's the career uh, professionally. During this week's tournament, two golfers from FAMU's golf team were able to participate. Moby Dillard finished tied for seventh, and Mahandra Lunchman finished in sixth. In St. Augustine, Jamal St. Cyr for Channel 4, the local station.